I'm Lady Aska and today I have a request from Hidden Gems here on YouTube that wanted to know how to record your avatar for a video for example. Which means this tutorial is about how to get your avatar into OBS using different programs like VC Face and V Magic Mirror. So let's get started. First, let's cover the basics for OBS since not everyone may be familiar with it outside of streaming. One of the rather weird things about OBS is that it is best if you are started in administration mode and do the same for any other program you are using with it. If I don't do that, I often don't get my avatar to show up. So first, set your OBS and VC phase or whatever other software you are using to run at administrator. To do that, you should find the original .exe file, sometimes it also works with the desktop shortcut, and go to properties and there the compatibility tab and check the run this program as administrator box. Confirm with apply and OK and we are good to go. Now we have our OBS running in administrator. I also recommend to use studio mode here so you see better what you're doing and how your output looks like. My OBS may look a bit crowded at the moment while yours may likely be empty. So first we create a new scene here by pressing the plus button under scenes and name our scene whatever we want. I will choose recording here. After that we can start to add sources, which means we will add everything that we need for our recording, which will likely be your microphone or audio input, your tracking software so your avatar can show up here, any other inputs like display capture or game capture if you want to record yourself directly over your footage, and last but not least an image source that will have nothing but a green background on it. Some tracking programs come with a green screen option already, but I still recommend to use a separate screen, just so you can have full control of the size and placement of your avatar. But I will explain that later. Let's first set up our microphone. You press the plus button on your sources and add an audio input capture. To identify that later, I would call it at least mic or something like that. From the device drop down menu, you should select your microphone. And that is all you have to do here. Now let's first talk about the green screen. To set one up, you can literally just download a green image from the internet or create one yourself. Suggested resolution of the picture should be 9020 by 1080. Then we set up a new source and select image this time. And select the image file from your PC. And now to the more interesting parts. For both our capture programs VC Face and VMagic Mirror, we can actually use a game capture here when adding them despite them not actually being games. The reason why I also recommend this is that you can tell OBS to only capture the program itself, instead of your whole scene and possibly showing something that you don't want on your recording. Now to actually set this two up, we have to have the tracking program you use already running in the background. And we want that just our avatar shows up here, nothing else of the tracking program itself. In VC Face, you really have to know where to look. But there is this little X in the bottom right corner that will turn your background transparent. To also hide the X after, you just press the spacebar on your keyboard. In VMagic Mirror, it's even easier since the transparent background is the default. So you only have to find the vmagicmirror.exe, not the config window, and capture that. If nothing of this is showing up in the drop down menu, don't feel shy to restart OBS or the tracking program a few times till it gets recognized. Also enable allow transparency, so your avatar gets imported without a background, if that is what you want. Your avatar should then pop up in the OBS preview, and you can now decide where you want it to be, by moving it around or changing the little corners of the window to reduce your size on screen. Also don't forget the OBS sources work like layers. So always make sure that the order of your sources are correct. For example, if I move the green screen to the top, I would cover up all the layers under it, which could mean your avatar. So make sure that a green screen or maybe a game you want to capture is always at the bottom of the list and your avatar is placed on top of that. So now you would be able to record your avatar in front of a green screen that you can remove in post-processing. If you don't need the green screen, let's say to record yourself over the window capture like a program directly, we can disable the green screen by pressing the little eye icon to the side. Now let's set up a window capture to capture a program. I will use Paint Tool Sci as an example here. 
The program has to be visibly open to be able to be seen by OBS, so minimized programs likely won't work or be recognized. As you see here as well, we also have the option to tell OBS to only show windows where the titles match exactly. Again, not showing anything else than the content you want to capture. I'm emphasizing this so much because we also have, besides game and window capture, the display capture. It will just capture everything that's on your monitor, so keep that in mind. And maybe you stumble over the same problem here, that your capture window doesn't really fit into the preview. To solve that, we can right-click on the source and select Transform. And there, fit to screen. And then it's there, without any deforming. But that doesn't always mean it will fit perfectly. For that, you can select Stretch to screen. And the image will be deformed to the extent necessary. Now that we have everything set up, there are just a few other things we should take into account. And these would be under Settings, which you can either find here under File or in the bottom right, right under the Studio Mode button. If we select here Output, I suggest you change your recording format to MP4 and set a path to where the recordings should be saved. Also check your recording quality. Of course, the higher the quality here, the bigger the files will get up to a point where run recording could take up all your available space. I usually record in high quality, medium file size to get a good middle ground. Other than that, I would change much here. Now you could start your first recording. Though you know what would happen if you would record now, just like that? Sometimes not that much, because OBS didn't really register all your sources yet for the final product. To do that, we would click on the transition button in the middle and everything that was shown in our preview is now in our program window. And exactly that will be the content that gets recorded. So if you are making some source changes later, like changing between green screen and window capture, don't forget to also activate the transition so your changes become relevant for your recording. And the only thing missing now would be that you press the start recording button. And you're good to go. If you want more tutorials like this, let me know. And if you like the content, hit the subscribe button. See you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful day.